Hi there, everybody. Uh, this isn't a, like, stage upload video, more of a kind of a progress showcase. Uh, I've been working on basically remaking the entirety of Mega Man 1 as a single Mega Man Maker level, uh, complete with a little chop here. Kind of. <laughs> um, you get one key to unlock any of the uh, other three characters you might want to play as. Mega Man's the default. He has the slide, he has the charge shot, all the modern stuff. Um, I've left all the abilities on for all the characters, so Proto's got the Proto shot and the double damage taken. Uh, Base has his double jump. Uh, Roll's got her charge broom and her invulnerable. You only get one of those orange keys, so you can only pick a character once. Welcome to stick with Mega Man if that's who you'd prefer to play as, but, you know, I just like giving everybody the option. Um, then, throughout the sixth Robot Master stages, there are six green keys, and whenever you've collected three of them, you can unlock the Mega Man Powered Up boss uh, attacks. And every time you beat one of those stages, you get a red key. And once you've got all six red keys, you can enter the final Dr. Wily stage. So, popping in and out of these uh, works pretty seamlessly. Get Fireman stage here. You know. You can always head back if you decide to do something else. You gotta kinda hold the direction when you get out, or else you'll just kinda pop up and down again. And you can always hit the checkpoint in the hub to kind of save your position here. Um, I've augmented the stages a little bit with uh, some different tile sets just to kind of fancy them up. Um, where possible, I tried to use the Mega Man Powered Up tile sets for those characters, and some of them have uh, a little bit kind of fancier changes to level designs than others. There's also some secret stuff. Let's see if we can maybe show off one of those here. The enemies are, in some cases, approximations of what was in the original levels, and in some cases, entirely new stuff. And here is the first secret I'll show off. Scratchman, Secret Boss, in the Bomb Man stage. Now this, in this particular case, uh, there are two secret bosses hidden in the stages. Beating each of these guys is how you get one of the keys. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna be a little tricky. I'm not the, the best at Mega Man Maker, but, uh... <laughs> I guess Mega Man in general, rather. Um, but I've been I've been putting a lot of work into this. Uh, I've got all six Robot Master stages done at this point. I just need to start on Dr. Wily's stuff. Um, so let's jump over here. Kind of not really what I wanted to do. That's fine though. There's a health and energy refill in the hub. Jump over to Iceman. Gotta show off. But yeah, I've kind of augmented things a little bit. So it's not meant to be like a 1 1 remake of the original levels. It's sort of a uh, updated take on a lot of it using the, the things Mega Man Maker gives us. Some spots are a little different, some spots are really similar. The levels are not, like, the length of the original levels. They're cut down a bit. Oh, what happened to the water here? I will fix that. <laughs> That's weird. Very strange. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah, you can see the green key here is a little bit of a platforming puzzle. I can't actually do this with the water messed up like that. It's weird that that happened. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show, and here's a nice map overview, um, you break it down, I think, what is it? Yeah, this is, like, Cutman's area, 
You can see there's a secret over there. Ooh, guess what? It's the other secret boss, Woodman. Um, and whenever you beat a boss, a teleporter will open up after you get the key. But yeah, that's uh, Cutman's segment right here. Uh, this is Iceman's. I think it goes... Yeah, it goes down and over here. Uh, this one is Bomb Man's, which you can see kind of butts up against Iceman's, but you'll never see that during actual gameplay. Um, and drops down to uh, his little boss arena. Uh, this whole chunk up here is Guts Man, um, which again, I tried to fancy up a little bit. I can't do the platforms with the things that drop out of them. I've been thinking about like putting some spike things or something you have to jump over as they move back and forth, but I don't know. I, I feel like it's unnecessary. Um, this platforming section's already, like, tricky enough as it is. Um, but yeah, and we've got some different enemies here. The Mets that walk around, you know, the little traffic cone dudes. I tried to keep it all kind of within theme of the level. So these guys will throw rocks at you as you're getting kind of into the more mining area. Um, we've got Gutsman's powered up background being used here. Um... And then, instead of Gutsman, because he's not in the game, unfortunately, I do have Hardman. Uh, the Electman's stage, still super, super vertical, um, uses some of those nice backgrounds from other games. Again, trying to keep the feel of the stage without being 100% accurate to it. Uh, Sp Sparkman, right? That's Sparkman, I think. Mega Man 2 guy. Oh, he's a Mega Man 3 guy. Uh, there we go. Program's hanging up a little bit. That happens when levels get this big. Yeah, Sparkman. Um, Stumbling in for Electman. He's a pretty good approximation, and um, some enemies will spawn kind of left and right of that to just keep it, the fight a little more interesting. Um, this is Fireman's area, which uh, I've used some of his powered up tiles and backgrounds in. Um, as well as a... Yeah, I'll show you the two spots where I feel like there's a kind of a cool effect I was able to do. The music's not going to be right because the music trigger for this area is one where you teleport in. But, yeah, if you can use the firewall as kind of a uh, good approximation of lava. That jump's doable, I'm just bad at it right now. Um, and in the... Ooh, where are we? Really easy to lose track of myself sometimes. Here we go. We'll just jump right to you before, before the boss room. Use that again here. Get okay, a cool little build up to the boss room and then in the boss fight itself. It's not gonna hurt you, it's, you know right there underneath everything. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. But it, it like gives this really nice look to it. Um, the other stuff you can't quite see through gameplay uh, without me spending a lot of time on it is uh, the room beyond the... Uh, Six key door. I'll show that real quick. Uh, it doesn't actually go anywhere yet, but this is the teleport chamber that'll take you to the first stage of uh, of Wily's stuff. And um, working on things a little out of order, I've actually gotten a little kind of boss intro area and the final Wily machine. Uh, let's call this kind of a, a prototype. <laughs> for it. Um, I've been experimenting a little bit. I'm not totally set on it yet, but I do like the intro I've made for it. Man is, of course, the uh, final boss of the Mega Man 1 Time Warp. 
uh, stage. <laughs> Things are a little chaotic here, but I think it's still relatively manageable, especially since when you actually get here, you're going to be doing it with all the Robot Master powers, not with nothing like I've got. Um, you know, we'll pop out of here so you can hear me a little better <laughs> while I talk about the Wily Machine. Um, it's it's a pretty simple thing, you know. This guy moves off screen basically just as the kind of boss intro ends. Um, so you, yeah, go here. We'll we'll jump in again and I'll show you. So you you get like the stage music intro, the and you know you go through here. The blackout from that enemy ends just about the perfect timing. Um, you can see there. I'm really happy with that. Uh, the magma thing kind of plays with the amount of space you can deal with. I thought about moving it over, but it feels like the more I put it like in a middle spot, the more difficult this fight gets when I want to maybe keep its difficulty kind of around the mid range. I don't want you to get to this point and then like just give up. You know, that, that would suck. Um, these guys just kind of serve their purpose as little shooty dudes but also keep Time Man elevated um, so that generally you're going to need to jump on these platforms to get some good shots in at him. Uh, he's got... Oh, his weaknesses are set up wrong. Um, his weaknesses should match the Wily Machine weaknesses from Mega Man 1 um, being the uh, Firestorm and Thunderbeam. Thunderbeam not being an actual weakness of the machine in Mega Man 1, but, like, the best weapon just because it hits multiple times when you fire it. Um, this dude fires shots when you hit him, so you want to have, like, some kind of controlled fire. You don't want to be just firing blindly. You can still survive if you fire blindly, but it's going to make it more difficult. Um, and I, I feel like this is an okay approximation of, like, a Wily machine, because you have to get up to attack him, um, there's multiple things kind of coming at you. There's this guy, which is like, you can easily avoid it, but if you get hit by it, it's just instant death. It feels like a final boss kind of, kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this stage right now. Um, I've been having a lot of fun making it. Um, I'm really looking forward to finishing it and getting it out there to everybody so y'all can play it. Um, especially since, you know, again, it, it's going to let you play as all four of the characters <laughs> um, in essentially a beefed up Mega Man 1, which should be easier than the original Mega Man 1, but also not a cakewalk. Uh, so look forward to uh, this getting uploaded sometime soon, and, uh, you know, thanks for watching.